All right, so it's morning time. Now, this is Jen, and Jen is a professional. She travels a lot, and so when she wakes up, she needs to get her skin ready to go. So I'm gonna share with you the color wheel that you use to help sort of eliminate maybe some, some morning flaws that you, that you want to have go away. What's great about green is that the green neutralizes um, red in the skin. So you can take a little bit of this green and you can tap it just into those slightly reddened areas before you do your foundation. This is gonna make a great difference during the day, how your foundation wears. Now, I also suggest this, you could tap it directly over a blemish to try to diminish it, especially if it's very, very red. However, for me, I often will just opt for a flesh tone concealer and sort of get two birds with one stone, I get rid of the redness, and I kind of cover up the blemish at the same time prior to applying the foundation. Turn towards me, please. Anything else I need to cover? Just down here on the chin, come back to center. Just a little bit more redness. So we're gonna take a little bit more concealer right here. Now you also notice Jen has just a little bit of shadow happening around her, her lip area. You always wanna make sure you highlight under your lip before you do your foundation. This is very important, otherwise that shadow will make it look like your skin is sinking in here and that's a sign of aging. So by highlighting this area, you definitely create um, a more smoother surface to the skin. Also notice Jen has what I call tear stains, a little bit of darkness right around the eye area. This is not the time to create full coverage. Look up for me please, but it is the time to just neutralize this um, little bit of darkness around the eye area. I'm not really going to approach the uh, area above her eye yet. We'll do that a little bit later on another video. Turn towards me and we're gonna just give a little bit more cleaning up prior to the application of the foundation. This way she's a little bit more cleaned up so when the foundation goes on, the appearance of smoothness and evenness lasts all day. The last thing I want you to notice is that there is redness always happening on everybody right around the nose area and it's vital that you take this down because as the day goes on, especially if you're in a colder climate, the nose is just going to get redder and it really becomes, everyone looks at your nose first and that's not what you want. So you notice how I take that concealer just down the tip of the nose, a little bit underneath where the shadow's created. Turn towards me, please. Same thing on the other side. And I am using um, a flat concealer brush to apply this product and I think this is the best thing for you to use because it goes on smoothly and quickly. And that's how I want you to prepare your skin prior to foundation for the professional look. If you're watching this at MakeupGourmet.com, I've listed my current favorite products to achieve this look. Click on one and try it. If you're not at MakeupGourmet.com, go there now to see my favorite product picks for this look as well as everything else we have to offer. How to apply, what to buy. MakeupGourmet.com